Hi friends and welcome to another episode of Creative Nerds and today we're gonna do something that I personally think is a lot of fun and that is a camera image comparison. And we're gonna do this the proper way which is using the same lens adapted to all three cameras which in this particular case is the Sony a7S III, the Fuji X-T4 and the Sigma FP. And just to be clear here, I own both the Sony a7S III and the Sigma FP and I borrow the Fuji X-T4 from time to time from my friends. And my goal with this comparison was simply to see if I could get the cameras to match up as closely as possible so that I can bring all three to the same shoe. And I also wanted to see on the outset how different they would be without any color correction and just using the manufacturer provided Rec 709 LUT and doing the log conversion that way. So the way I did this is I put my trusty size Milvus 50mm 1.4 and adapted it to all the cameras. And then I also took my 35mm 1.4 size Milvus since it is the same manufacturer, the same lens line and they're made by size to match as close as possible so that we could get the framing from the crop sensor on the Fuji to match up as close as possible with the full frame sensors. And I've seen a lot of like camera comparisons out there where famous YouTubers will be like the Canon R5 versus the Sony a7S III and they use completely different lenses on the two cameras which pretty much renders the comparison useless. It's a bit like if you were to compare sport car tires and you use different cars with different brakes and different like engine power and try to deem how good brake distance and how good acceleration you get out of each respective tires. You need the same car used on all sets of tires like you need the same lens used on all of the cameras. So without further ado here my friends are the results. Enjoy. Alright, so pretty interesting stuff right here. I will say that I was a bit surprised by how it turned out, how different the cameras actually looked, even they were on the same setting. So I used the same white balance, same shutter speed, and they were all shot at their native ISO and the lights were dimmed accordingly to the exposure guides provided by the manufacturer. And then I just did a Rec. 709 from log conversion with the manufacturer provided Rec. 709 a lot. However, since I also shot this on the with the color checker, I used the method in the description below to get the cameras matching as close as I possibly could and I think they turned out pretty well. What I will say and that I'm a bit surprised by is that 
I do think it's a missed opportunity from Fuji not providing us with a raw output over the HDMI like we get from the Sigma FP which is in the same price bracket. But that is it, I would love to hear you guys comment down below. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel for more video gear review, camera tips and tricks as well as some photography philosophy and don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well. But that is it for me you guys, I will see you in the next one, bye.